Hey Virgo, how are you doing today? This is Nikki. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Welcome to the Earthly Virgo. If you're just watching, maybe stop by to see if this reading resonated. Please consider like subscribing and sharing. And also uh, subscribe to my other channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, subscribe to my other channel, Dark Kush Tarot. All right. This is a talk. I keep dropping cards. But have y'all been clumsy today or what? Okay. Uh, this is going to be a talk with your higher, I'm sorry, a talk with your future self, Virgo. Virgo, a talk with your future self. I'm going to only lay out five cards. If this resonates, let me know, okay? A talk with your future self. That's your present self. Your future self. Your future, self, your future self that tells you what it is that you can focus on, all right? Your future self that tells you what you should cut off. And finally, advice from your future self. What advice do you have from your future self, Virgo? Advice from your future self. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get started. Don't forget you all. Like, subscribe, and share to our beautiful earthly Virgo family. Let's see. Uh, your person, this is your, your present self. What is going on with your present self? And like I said, this is a talk with your future self. But what's going on with you now? Six of Swords. Okay, so you're ready to leave something behind. You're ready to finally say, you know what? I'm, I've had it. OK, I'm done. You know, I've, I'm moving on. I'm changing the way I think about situations with my life. It's like this card for me to you is like a brand new beginning for you because you finally learned how to take better care of yourself, how to believe in yourself more, how to say, you know what? I know when I've had enough. I know when I'm done. All right. It's like you're being led from one place to another. I'm hearing led from one pasture in your life to another pasture Okay, to be able to build again. All right. Your future self wants to thank you for what? Your future self wants to thank you for waking up and smelling the motherfucking coffee, Virgo. We got the queen of cups here. OK, you're stronger than you ever gave yourself credit for. Do you realize that? OK, uh, you're, you're very sensitive right now to the elements around you and even to yourself. You're possibly allergic to these like seasonal allergies are going on right now for some of us. Um, you're very up. I'm hearing you're very much so in your feelings and you're finally able to move on from some stuff. Maybe somebody here has also decided to to, to be baptized, if that's something that you believe in. Uh, I see maybe someone buying a fish tank or or sitting near a pond, near water, uh, just a, the calming effects and also possibly meditating with um, listening to like the sounds of uh, thunder and lightning and rain and different things like that to make yourself calm down to relax a little bit more. All right. And your higher self, your future higher self, thanks you for that. Your future self tells you to focus on what? Okay. Love. Your future self is tell, telling you love is going to be here for you. Connecting with somebody, connecting with somebody on a heart level. Okay. <sighs> hmm. I'm hearing... Turn on your heart light. Let it shine wherever you go. You know that song, okay? Turn on your heart lights. That's what your future self wants you to know, that you're going to be ignited in this relationship with somebody. They're going to make your heart light just be brighter than it ever has before. It's going to be this full, this feel good kind of lighting, all right? This is um, what your future self wants to tell you to cut off. People, you, people who no longer serve you. Exactly the same people you're cutting on, cutting off now, uh, are the same situations you're, you're cutting off now because you're fed up. They're going to try to come, creep back into your life in the, in the near future, and you're not having it. All right, but this can also mean getting out and having fun, getting out and enjoying yourself, possibly with new friends. Uh, all the new friends that you, I'm hearing the things that you have created in your future selves. Spirit wants you to get out and enjoy your life, but those people who you're trying to get away from now are going to try to come back in your future. All right. Advice from your future self. See, conflict. 
They're coming back. They're going to try to come back and try to mess with you, trying to upset your flow. Don't let it happen. Because you already know these people are out of your life. You're headed out of this energy right now. Why bring it back in when everything is going so good for you? Neil Diamond, turn on the hot lights. Okay. I'll put it in, in the comments. Listen to, <laughs> listen to the eternal song of your soul. Tune into it and learn to trust it. The music you're hearing in your head, um, whatever you're feeling inside of your true self, your higher self, let it out for the world to see. Let it out for the world to hear. Turn on your heart light. Look how bright that light is there. Okay, I just feel like there's a lot of good energy coming your way, coming forth to you. I'm going to do some clarifying on this because I don't want this to be too short of a reading that you don't really know what's going on. We got the Six of Swords. Your present self. What's going on with your present self, Virgo? Fast. Changes. Things are happening fast for you. Um, it has to happen fast in order to move you forward. Um, I think that you're closing some people off and, and you've been closed off for, from the truth for too long. Now you're finally see the, seeing the truth about people you hang around with, uh, people that you possibly work with, even the work, the job itself, the work itself. You're moving on from it. Um, I feel like this is a decision that you're ready to make because we started with the six of swords. We've got the two of pentacles, the two of swords, some uncertainty here. You have to find some balance in your life. And the only way you can do that, do that is move away from things that no longer serve you. All right. What else is your future self thanking you for? Because we've got this big queen of cups energy here. Very, very nurturing and caring. But you're more so being nurturing and caring to yourself. Five of Pentacles, leaving people behind. And, and this is you saying, oh, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm moving on. I'm no longer dealing with that. I'm build, dealing with people and situations and institutions that have high value like me. All right. And this is you being happy. Three of Cups. Though we have the Three of Cups here. I feel like, too, this is your energy that you're in. These people who still want to follow you on your path, they may creep in, in in the future, but you're already at that point to where you're blocking them out. You're hitting them left and right like uh, like a baseball pay, player hits the ball. Pow, pow, pow. Get the hell away from me. Uh, no more. You're not dealing with it, Virgo. You don't have to. All right. Leaving people in the cold, especially the people who are fake around you, especially people who mean you no good. All right. Your future self tells you to focus on love. Let's get some clarifiers on there for you, Virgos. Focusing on love for Virgos' future self. Turn on your heart light. Let it shine wherever you go. Seven of Cups. You may have choices. The Nine of Cups. <laughs> You're going to have some choices, but one of them is going to is going to outshine the rest. OK, you got the seven of cups and the nine of cups. Are you prepared to receive a great love off of Virgo? You're going to have some choices, though, 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 <laughs> you're gonna have a lot of choices here. All right. A lot of I won't say confusion, but a lot of people are going to pique your interest. A lot of people are going to try to pull you in. All right. But here, this one person here, whoever he or she may be, is going to pull it in. And reel you in. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this connection? This solid foundation. This beautiful earthy connection. All right. Okay. And your future uh, self is telling you to cut off people that no longer serve you. But what are the clarifiers? Your future self is telling you to cut off what else? Compare it to these three of cups, please. Nine of pentacles. Ooh, haters. Cutting off those MF and haters, Virgo. Okay. Uh, what situation in your life is calling for you to lead, to have independence and self-realization? You don't need these people in, in your life because these people uh, will laugh with you, play with you, and all of a sudden talk about you behind your back because they're, they're jealous of you. They're envious of you. They want to be just like you, if not you. So you're cutting these people out and you're not feeling bad about it. You're going to be releasing a lot of things in your life that no longer serves you within the next couple of months.
and standing out strong. Pencil, because this is why they don't like you, because <laughs> you stand strong, you stand, you stand tall, you stand up in it all the time, Virgo. Yes, you do. And don't apologize for it. What uh, situation in your life do you have to hold? Do you hold value to you? You hold value to yourself and people are seeing that. They're recognizing that you can't keep a good Virgo down. All right. Advice from your future self. We have a five of wands and we have listening to the eternal song of your soul. All right. Advice to your future self. Clarifier, please. We're clarifying the five of wands again. Advice to your future self. The hangman. Um, don't hold on too long to this. Your future self is telling you, if you know you need to cut somebody out your life, the arguments and the disagreements, it's not even worth it. Just let it go. Don't hang on. Cause we got the hangman here with the five of wands. Don't, don't worry about this. Uh, what situation in your life do you feel, do you need to look at from a different perspective, getting into it with people, conflicts, arguments, disagreements, uh, -uh let it go, let it go almost immediately. Don't hang on to nothing else that no longer serves you because you're already cutting it short right now. All right. Your tolerance level is no and void. Queen of Cups. Tell it like a T H I S. Tell it like a like, I, 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 shit. I can't even talk. I'm trying not to curse. <laughs> what situation in your life are you asking to observe your emotions? Uh, stepping into your emotions and telling people like it is, whether they like to hear it or not. Being truth, being being truthful and honest to these people. OK, or being honest with yourself that what no longer serves you, you got to let it go immediately. OK, and and you know what? When you tell somebody how it what like how to how to get off. OK, and they finally do it and they won't bother you anymore. It puts a smile on your face because you finally said what needed to be said. Right now. OK, bottom of the deck. It's time for a change. What situation in your life is transforming and changing to bring about something new? How you see yourself. You're leaving situations that no longer serve you and no longer deserve the quality of the time you're putting into the, the person, place, or thing. All right. This is a talk with your higher self. Talk to you later.